There are many situations in our lives. There are many points where we have to make decisions. Sometimes we are given the choice to make that decision. Yeah. And sometimes we are not given the choice to make that decision for ourselves. Okay. And there can be more situations. Yeah. For example, career, I think uh, different people have different definitions for it. I'm going to do the career mm. that I like mm. and I'm going to make money in that I'm going to show you. Good college and bad college. The thing is usually people when talk about good college and bad college, they're referring to the faculty. But some colleges have still the same regulations like mm. schools, rules and regulations like schools. Mm. I don't think that those colleges are doing good with the students. Old rules have been coming from centuries and centuries and yeah. centuries. Time has changed. People have changed. Yeah. The teenagers, the youngsters of this generation have mm. changed. They have mm. different mindsets, different mm. ideas. They don't want the same old colleges and the same boring rules. Mm. We want something new. Show us something new. They will get some life skills because a degree without life skill is so so useless mm. these days yeah. you need skill in your life what kind of the those skills, skills? the skill oh zubillah samir alim min ash shaitan ar rajim bismillah ar rahman ar rahim dearest viewers we are going to resume our session from the point it was over at being an old man i have forgotten that point let's ask my beloved bitiya arij fatma to remind me of what was the point our previous session was over at choice of career choice of career see when we say choice what do we mean by that it's either, it's either two of the situations yeah one is that you are given the choice okay and the other one is you are not given the choice okay see you mean to say that there are only two situations they there can be more many more it means that we can't say that the choice is between only the two no let's make this point simpler for our viewers yeah when we say situation what does it mean there are many situations in our lives yeah and there are many points where we have to make decisions okay okay sometimes we are given the choice to make that decision yeah and sometimes we are not given the choice to make that decision for ourselves okay and there can be more situations yeah. for example okay we are given the choice mm. but we ourselves don't know what decision we want to make yeah situations in our life and the quality of our decisions what a topic arid has highlighted we'll discuss it in detail in the days to come Let's resume our today's topic. Choice of career. career. What do you mean by career? Different people have different concepts of career. Yeah. Some people think that the career is the one that they want to do, the, the thing that they want to do in their life. Yeah. And some people see career just as something to make money. Yeah. and because of that i have seen many people they leave the career that they love yeah and go for the one that will give them money yeah but they not do not they do not like that one yeah so career i think uh, different people have different definitions for it yeah so what's your definition of career what's my definition of career as you know i have been to college yeah and uh, i am i have selected the career fait yeah so many people have degraded me that you got good marks but yeah. you're in doing fa true it's not going to make you money true i'm like i'm going to do the career mm. that i like mm. and i'm going to make money in that i'm going to show you oh so your concept of career actually it has a direct link with earning earning with earning yes so do you think that rest of all the people in the world know whenever they talk about career so their career also is linked with this money of course yeah what i could understand from your talk is that career has a direct link with the earning earning yeah. of our money, money so that we can meet the formalities yeah. related to our lives lives is it like that yes okay so the career which you have chosen for yourself yes. which you imagine now yes. for yourself which you want know to become the part of or which you want to know to go for what is that well Well, I have been a very carefree person my whole life. Yeah. So people used to ask me when I was in metric, what are you going to do when you'll like go to college? Hmm. And at that point I'll say, 
then I'll see when the time comes. Mm. So my answer is same mm. for this time. That I'll see when the time comes. But right now, I am going with FAIT. Yeah. When my results gonna come, I'll I'll see what I have done in my results in my exams. Yeah. They gonna decide what will I do in the future. Okay. Wish you best of luck now for your exams, Thank my you. daughter. When you were quoting you know, the different people, you used the term good college. What do you mean by good college or bad college? Your concept, please. Good college and bad college. The thing is, usually people when talk about good college and bad college, they're referring to the faculty. Ah. Okay, they're referring to the teachers, the, how they teach the students. Yeah. Do they have the capability mm. to teach them what they they have to be taught? Yeah. Okay, but there are also some other cases in yeah. this. First of all, some colleges. You know, college. When you uh, go to up to a teenager and tell him that you're going to be college, the mm. first thing that comes in their mind is that we're gonna be a little free. Mm. We're gonna we're gonna be given some freedom. Yeah. Okay. So some colleges are quite strict in this matter. Yeah. And I don't like that. College okay. is a place where you have to be free, where you have to be given the opportunity mm. to make decisions for yourself. You're yeah. not a child anymore. Let them yeah. make their decisions on their own. Yeah. That's the thing. But some colleges have still the same regulations like mm. schools, rules and regulations like mm. schools. I don't think that those colleges are doing good with the students. Dearest viewers, we have a young genius mind with us. And as she moves forward, she adds a new topic of our interest to discuss. You are requested to please bear us out if you go away from our today's topic for some time. Just to understand the points of our interest, this embodiment of understanding and clarity has highlighted. So I would love to know about them in detail. So you just said that good college, basically it's not the name of that building merely. It's not no. the name of that building, no. no? It's not, not the name of merely the location where it locates. You highlighted you know, the three points which I could pick from your talk. The first you said that when you say good college, it means you're talking about teachers, no? yeah. faculty, no? professors, lecturers. No? Yes. Clear? Yes. And second thing you said no, that good college basically is, is, is the college that ensures you know, what, you know, the freedom of the students. No? the freedom no and the third point no that you mentioned in your no uh, explanation as far as good college is concerned no you touched the point it was discipline yes yes right? yes of course my question no when you say faculty no yeah that what are the points which you love to see in your faculty the faculty which actually makes some college good college first of all First of all, in every college they have rules and regulations and some main points for students to follow. Yeah. Okay, but listen, there are some points in every college that not everybody wants to follow. Yeah. Or you can just not pursue them or like tell them that you have to follow. Yeah. Okay, sometimes why don't you go up to the students and ask them what they yeah. need in the college. Yeah. Ask them, like take ideas from them. Very good. Very okay, good. these people don't do that. Mm. They're gonna do what the old rules have been coming from centuries and centuries and yeah. centuries. Time has changed, people have changed. Yeah. The teenagers, the youngsters of this generation have mm. changed. They have mm. different mindsets, different mm. ideas. They don't want the same old colleges and the same boring rules. Mm. We want something new. Show us something new. Yeah. Dear Ditya, I do second your point of view that our college staff is going with the conventional thoughts conventional teaching methods and conventional approach to address the students behavior their demands and their dream future did you observe any change in any college no change what kind of change no you dream of no, over there in the colleges i really I really like um, when there are clubs in the colleges. Okay. You know the music club, the painting club, or something mm. like that. Mm. Okay. Because when you see um, in Western countries mm. and Europe, they have uh, those clubs and societies in their schools. Mm. But our colleges they do not have them. Mm. They're like just focus on your studies. What's written on the book? You have to learn just that. Yeah. If you have any question, it should be related to the book. Nothing yeah. else. True. Like it wouldn't hurt if there would be a music club in the like 
college, yeah. people can learn a lot of instruments. Mm -hmm. I myself really like piano yeah. and violin. True. But I have never gotten the chance to ever mm -hmm. play them or learn them. Yeah. Because I don't have done. Very good. You highlighted two points. The first you said no that clubs and second societies. Yes. Clubs know that if these clubs know that uh, they become the part of our college culture know yeah. what are the benefits know the students are likely know to get know what kind of advantages they will get they will get some life skills yeah because a degree without life skill is so so useless mm. these days yeah. you need skill in your life yeah so when when we have clubs in our college or schools or at any level of education mm. okay people can learn some skills yeah they will help them in the future life mm. that's one thing excellent before i know that touch the next point over here you mentioned that one of the advantages of you know that making clubs you know at the permanent feature of the college culture yeah. it helps the students you know in learning skills yes. and these skills can you know that to help them out you know in the, over the, in the future what kind of skills you know do you think that should be developed you know by establishing by making you know these clubs the skills what kind the of those skills, skills? the skill